Zcash. Bear in mind Zcash, Zec, Z-E-C, is not the same coin as Zen, Z-E-N, Cash. Two different coins. <coughs> so here's the chart of Zcash daily basis, logarithmic. I remember this crash. It was around October of last year. Features were going as high as thirty whatever thousand dollars. And as soon as it was released, it was just a collapse. Well apparently it did hit a bottom. At around twenty five. And since then it has climbed. And I think it has climbed in an impulsive fashion. So wave one, wave two. For those of you who are just joining my blog, welcome. Um, I use what's called Elliott Wave Analysis. And in my prior post, I had um, posted some didactic instructive book recommendations on Elliott Waves as well as chart pattern recognition. <coughs> I will try and repost that. Every now and then I try to repost it for new viewers and followers so that they can <coughs> learn about it and better understand and, and, and ideally self-analyze their own charts. And since I use Elite Waves, I try to take viewers and followers and readers through the basics of Elite Waves. So here we go. Elite Waves states that prices move in a five wave motive. And these waves are related to each other by the Fibonacci ratio 0.618. And Fibonacci ratio can be found throughout nature, throughout our galaxy, the helix of our DNA and the spirals of the galaxy all act according to this Fibonacci golden ratio. So does the sentiment. Sentiment acts the same way. And chart price chart is a reflection of people's sentiment. So if the wave one is here and I'm going to do a second wave, there's a rule between wave one and two. Wave two cannot equal or exceed the bottom of wave one. So if I put the wave two here, if I put wave one here, wave two, it doesn't exceed the bottom of one check. Wave 3, I usually leave for the end to check. Wave 4, the bottom of wave 4 cannot overlap with the top of wave 1. That meets correct check. And wave 5. Now wave 3 cannot be the shortest. And surely here is the longest, which is the, <coughs> the usual case for stocks, where mostly wave 3 is extended, the longest. I've shown many examples in cryptos where wave 5 is the longest. I've shown many charts where wave 5 is extended. And slowly but surely I'm learning more and more about the personality of wave structures that are different from equities compared to um, digital cryptos, coins. So we have one, two, three, four, five. After five waves, there is always a three wave correction in the form of an ABC. can call it A, B, C. 
as a possibility. <clears throat> but this does not look impulsive. It's all overlapping. It looks more diagonal. A, B, C, D, E. And if you do a chart pattern, this looks like a daily, a bare flag. So imagine a flag post with a flag, and if, if a flag is upward <coughs> pointing, then it's bearish. And price is showing up or through the bottom line, retraces now, and most likely it'll come back down. So I don't think ABC could be possibly finished here. I think it's more like A, B, Potentially C. So that's what Elliott Wave shows. An additional chart pattern would show this. I like this pattern. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we can see this as A, B, C, D, and there's one more down to go, E. So there may be one more down, like so. And after A, B, C, D, E is complete, price should advice. Now these five waves make up subwaves, become subwaves themselves. Of an impulse wave of a higher degree. One. A B C D E. Two. Three. Four. Five. If Bitcoin takes a dip, another dip down, this down here for Zek could coincide. Maybe do a sharp piercing and then come right back up, which would be another bullish indication. Now the chart's going to get messy. So, <coughs> from a long term perspective, In my prior posts, I had been talking about what I call the jaws chump. It has the upper jaw, lower jaw, it's chumping. But I'm calling this the jaws of wealth. Okay? Let me get rid of this just for now. <coughs> The reason why I'm calling it the Charles of Wealth is it's called a broadening pattern. So if we have a touch point here, the next touch point could be up here. And Being on a logarithmic format,
Okay. <clears throat> Some of you might be looking at me thinking, you're nuts. 5,000 Zec. I was being called nuts when it was 25. Projecting triple digits. <clears throat> Not on Steam it, but amongst my circle. And if this projection does carry, if this pattern does carry, <coughs> I mean, 5,000 ways and nuts, it was there before. And you might be scratching your head thinking, what in God's name could cause that? I have not a freaking clue. I'm a TA technical analyst. I'm not a fundamental analyst. Elliot Wave states that a news on event shall arrive to justify the forecast and not in reverse. The fundamentals do not justify the forecast. It's the other way around. And this pattern, my little human brain can maybe think, who knows, maybe anonymity, anonymity could be very significant, especially if the government start trying to compete with Bitcoin and clamp down with regulation. And maybe at the same time, decentralized exchanges like BitShares could far overtake the current exchanges that we have for Bitcoins and cryptos. Maybe China will do something. Maybe something will happen to with North Korea and South Korea. I have not a clue on the event or the news that would justify this forecast. So, let's see how it goes. This <coughs> it only sounds crazy until it happens. And more often than not, crazy does work. If you have any questions or comments, please do post. A, B, C, D, E. And if you do a chart pattern, This looks like a daily, a bear flag. So imagine a flag post with a flag. And if, if a flag is upward <coughs> pointing, then it's bearish. And price is showing up or through the bottom line, retraces now, and most likely it'll come back down. So I don't think ABC could be possibly finished here. I think it's more like A, B, potentially C. So that's what Elliott Wave shows. An additional chart pattern would show this. I like this better. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we can see this. Yes. A, B, C, D, and there's one more down to go. E. So there may be one more down. Like so. And after A, B, C, D, E is complete, price should rise. Now these five waves make up subwaves, become subwaves themselves. Of an impulse wave of a higher degree. One, A, B, C, D, E, two, 
three, four, five. If Bitcoin takes a dip, another dip down, this down here for Zek could coincide. Maybe Louis Sharp piercing and then come right back up, which would be another bullish indication. Now the chart's going to get messy. So, <coughs> from a long. So that's what Elliott Wave shows. An additional chart pattern would show. I like this better. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we can see this. Yes. A, B, C, D, and there's one more down to go. E. So there may be one more down. Like so. And after A, B, C, D, E is complete, price should rise. Now these five waves make up subwaves, become subwaves themselves. Of an impulse wave of a higher degree. One. A, B, C, D, E, two, three, four, five. If Bitcoin takes a dip, another dip down, this down here for Zek could coincide. Maybe Louis Sharp piercing and then come right back up, which would be another bullish indication. Now the chart's going to get messy. So, <coughs> from a long term perspective, in my prior posts. I had been talking about what I call the jaws chump. It has the upper jaw, lower jaw, it's chomping. But I'm calling this the jaws of wealth. Okay? Let me get rid of this just for now. <coughs> the reason why I'm calling it the jaws of wealth is it's called a broadening pattern. So if we have a touch point here, the next touch point could be up here. A, B, C, D, E is complete, prices should rise. Now these five waves make up subwaves, become subwaves themselves. of an impulse wave of a higher degree. One. A, B, C, D, E. Two. Three, four. Five. If Bitcoin takes a dip, another dip down, this down here for Zek could coincide. Maybe Louis Sharp piercing and then come right back up, which would be another bullish indication. Now the chart's going to get messy. So, <coughs> from a long term perspective, In my prior posts, I had been talking about 
what I call the jaws chump. This is the upper jaw, lower jaw is chomping. But I'm calling this the jaws of wealth. Okay. Let me get rid of this just for now. <coughs> the reason why I'm calling it the jaws of wealth is it's called a broadening pattern. So if we have touch point here, the next touch point could be up here. And being on a logarithmic format, 